<laughs> OK, John's story struck me during the week. This, you, may, you may not have seen one. It was a story in Ireland in the Evening Herald in Dublin last week. And it's quite a, quite a moving story. It's about Alzheimer's disease. Oh. Uh, it was, yeah. And the story basically was, being a big head may be good for you. Scientists found that large-headed individuals with Alzheimer's have better memory and thinking skills than sufferers with small heads. All of which is, is quite interesting. You see, the <laughs> next paragraph I found difficult to take. People with larger than average heads, like comedians... <laughs> To be, appear to be better protected if they develop Alzheimer's disease, as studies suggest. Now, that would be all right if it wasn't for the fact that the article actually came with a giant photograph of me <laughs> next to the article <laughs> under the word big head to have protected against Alzheimer's. Written underneath that, written underneath that was extra large colon. <laughs> Report is good news for Dara <laughs> Maria. No, it's not. It's not good news because I suddenly realise I've got a big head of hair. What do you mean you've sorry? Protect us from the Alzheimer's. <laughs> Forget about it. Uh. <laughs> In Canada, I did some modelling. It was for medical... It was for uh, <laughs> penile dysfunction. It was a before and after picture. <laughs> this is true. I, can't, can't get put. I didn't model. I don't model for big head <laughs> I don't regard myself as having a large head. I don't have difficulty buying hats. Uh, I don't have difficulty getting into jumpers. Uh, it is... <laughs> My Sorry. head has caused me no... When did those three no guys get here? <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, a big head doesn't normally cause the uh, owner a problem. It causes the owner's mother a problem. Have you seen? <laughs> and you do like, have you ever seen Dara? Yeah, it's smaller than my hips, it's, for God's it's sake. True. Your Dara. head is smaller than your hips. <laughs> what kind of shape oh, are you? You're a peanut. Of course, You're my, head. <laughs> of course my head is smaller than Dara, my hips. Dara, uh, Dara, but it's is Dara, your head not me. smaller than your hips? No. no. Dara, Dara, look at me. Oh, you're weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. I'm going to take you to a hall of mirrors and show you how you should look. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the kids from Mars. It's even that. It's fine. Your, your head is absolutely enormous. In fact, on a normal size head, that would be a full head of hair. <laughs> Oh, you are or are you not staying in my house tonight? I am. <laughs> when Dora before. opens an umbrella, it's like one of them little cocktail ones. To put in context how big it is, Dora, it has its own gravitational field. It's pulled in an entire planet behind it. <laughs> oh, this desk oh. was straight when we started. <laughs> Expecting sympathy. That's why I introduced yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. 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 What yeah. I did sympathy. was I said what something about. First... I revealed a weakness in front of six comedians, <laughs> and I thought, "There's a group that'll help me My through this." <laughs> I, I think of you all as friends. I don't think of you as comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, at the end of that round. <laughs> and the point's going to Russell, Ed, and Andy. Now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, please.